for black girl nerds. I love that the two of you are put together today because unlike the other pairings, neither of your character is really, you're both alphas. You both have very strong presences and the, you know, and how you are, your characters are on the island. Dot and Fenton are very different from everyone else and the two of you together is awesome. Um, mm -hmm. Beginning with you, Sophia, Fenton is more than she appears on the surface, you know, there's one impression that she's just a princess and she's pampered and she really doesn't do anything. But Dot had the foresight to look at her and say, I don't think that's just who she is. How would you describe, how would you describe Fenton and her journey throughout the season? I think that it's very like indicative to um, being second generation. Um, you know, your parents are brought up with a very different moral standard. And then, you know, they, they come into this world that is very Western and, um, you know, glorifies things like sex and um, lipstick and, and the clothes that you wear. And I think that a lot of her defense mechanism to sort of like break away from the, the label that her parents gives her of being an outsider is, building those walls of promiscuality and um, vanity and whatnot. Mm -hmm. And Shannon with Dot, we learned that Dot has a huge burden that she's brought with her to the island. And in turn, a lot of that is translating into how she interacts with everyone else, is helpful, is a leader and knows how to get it done. But at the core, who is Dot at the core beneath all of that service and, and, and leadership? I think at the core of her is just a, a lonely girl who hasn't had the chance to discover really who she is in her own right. She's, uh, she's always had someone depend on her and, and when that's happening, she, you know, she gets it done and she switches into that uh, fixer mode, but the, really throughout the island is really a chance for her to kind of discover who she is and, and to finally make friendships and be her own individual person. Um, yeah, I definitely think she's just, she's just a very lonely girl who just really, really wants to just live her own life and is, and is kind of finally starting to find the ability to do that. You know, that's interesting you should say that. Now that I think of Fenton, is she like that as well? A lonely person? I was just person? gonna say that. I was just gonna say that. And I feel, what's interesting is that they're both the same while being like so different because Dot is sort of like, okay, I'm weird. I have this weird life. I'm just gonna lean into that and be just like unapologetically myself. Whereas I feel like so much of Fatten is contrived because she's trying so adamantly hard to appear normal. Um, and and then that in it in and of itself is so isolating because she's so used to t people telling her that that's not who she is. Mm -hmm. So then she she builds that wall of defense where it's like, no, this is who I am. She even carries it with her to the island. Mm -hmm. What is very interesting is just the trend, how you all looking at you today and thinking about how you looked as I watched all the episodes. I mean, it just added so much realism to it because you guys look sunburnt, beat down, yeah. weather beaten, <laughs> scars. Was it, Shannon, was it as taxing during filming as it looks to us who are watching as viewers? Because you guys look toe up. <laughs> there definitely were, there definitely <gasps> was real sunburns, you know, real bruises. I definitely, it, and it helps, it, it helps so much being on location and, and being in those elements because most of the time you were, you were feeling exactly what your character was. However, sometimes it was cold and we were saying it was hot and sometimes it was hot and we were saying it was cold. <laughs> but definitely it was so good to shoot on location because the environment just, it totally influenced you and you're like, I, yeah, I feel exhausted and I'm sitting on the sand and I'm really sandy and I've got, you know, sand in my pants. I can't handle this anymore. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> So yeah, it was definitely like fun and fun to be all like ratty and stuff. It was awesome. Mm -hmm. 
And Sophia, lastly, if just based off the first episode, what would you, how would you, what would you say this show is about? Is it self-discovery? Is it sisterhood? How would you describe this for someone else? Um, I think that it's a very solid example of coming into adulthood and like finding your interpretation of that, however it may be, because as a child, I know it's very daunting and scary and um, we're always trying to invent ourselves, but there's all of this like surface influence, um, especially with social media that sort of like stops that growth because it's like, I'm not gonna share that thought that was weird. Or, you know, like you hope, you, you, you surround yourself with people because you want to try and like shove down whatever it is that's in you that you don't want to think about or talk about. And um, what a cool representation of no distractions, you know, like you are there alone with people that you don't know and having to like access parts of you that you didn't even know existed um, in order to survive and then, and then create yourself from there. Um, and that's, it's such an eye-opening thing to watch no matter who you are. Um, anyone can relate to that or put themselves in that position. Absolutely. Thank you so much, ladies. I really enjoyed Thank both you. of you. It was a pleasure to watch this and I can't wait for to talk about it with people. <laughs> Thank you so much. It was so nice Thank to meet you. you. Thank you, ladies. Take care. Bye. You too. Black girl nerds. Better shake your booties for black girl nerds.